right? So we're going to finish with a bang here. Look at all this information. But it's all the same idea. So let's have a look at part A. So part A is an integral of y dx. Right, so let's have a think then. So I know that the y is 1 over t plus 1. And x is, is not log 2, there is log t plus 2. So if I differentiate it, dx by dt is 1 over t plus 2. So if I differentiate t plus 2, it's 1. So it's differentiated over itself. Then I just need to rearrange it. So 1 over t plus 2 dt. So I'm, I'm going to change my y, I'm going to change my dx. Just need to check out the limits, which might be a little bit more tricky to do, because it tells me x is log 2. So that would become log 2 is log of t plus 2. So the logs disappear. 2 is t plus 2, 0 for t. And the other one, the other limit, is log 4. Log 4. So this is a proper big exam question. And it wouldn't have been done very well because it looks quite difficult, but actually it's not that bad. Right, so I've got everything I need there, haven't I? Let's just kind of make sure it's boxed. So I know the y, I know the dx, and I now know my limits. There. So that will become an integral from 0 to 2. Y is 1 over t plus 1. dx is 1 over t plus 2 dt. There, look, see, perfect. That's exactly it. Right, so that's part A done. Lovely. Part B says find it. Oh, now look at this, look. Look at this. How are you going to do this? Part B. It's two fractions multiplied together. It's partial fractions. So I've got to do partial fractions. So it doesn't tell you, but I've got to spot it and think, okay, that 1 over t plus 1, t plus 2 is the same as, now they're both linear, so each bracket gets its own fraction. I multiply through by the common denominator and see what I've got. So that'd be a t plus 2, t plus 1. Choose the numbers. Oh, can we put an x there? Choose the numbers which get rid of brackets. So t is minus 2. So that'll be 1 is minus b. So minus 1 is b. Happy with that? And then well, I've got uh, minus 1, t is minus 1 there, haven't I? I'm getting tired now, so I've done four, four lessons on the trot of doing this, I'm getting a bit tired. So that would be 1 is A there. So my 1 over t plus 1, t plus 2, is actually 1 over t plus 1, uh, minus 1 over t plus 2. Check that works, that's fine. So that's my partial fraction bit. So what I have to do now is integrate it, because I was actually going to integrate it between 0 and 2, wasn't I? So I'm actually integrating this between 0 and 2, dt. 0 and 2, dt. So the first one's a nice log. If I differentiate the bottom, it is the top, so that's log of t plus 1, minus... If I differentiate the bottom, it is the top. If I just take the minus out. So I could do it as what have I got? I've got a minus 1. What do I want? A 1. Minus 1 over plus 1. So it's still there. It's still 9. Now what I can do, which is a bit nifty, is combine them as a single log. The pack doesn't do that, but, but why not? So it becomes log of t plus 1 over t plus 2 between 0 and 2. So if I put in the 2, it's log of uh, 3 quarters. Minus, if I put in the 0, log of a half. 
I've got log of three quarters minus log of a half. So if you imagine that as a joined one, it would be log of three quarters divided by a half, which would be log of three over two. There. That's quite nice, though. I like that. Uh, I've got part C left, which I'll just cram into this little corner here, which is a Cartesian equation, just to remind you. Uh, so what are my two equations? Uh, oops. All the way at the top there. So x is log t plus 2. y is 1 over t plus 1. Right, so I need to get rid of t, don't I? So if I add e to the x is t plus 2, then e to the x minus 2 is t. So I'm going to replace e to the x minus 2 with t. So y is 1 over e to the x minus 2 plus 1. y is 1 over e to the x minus 1. Ah, done, dusted. How nice is that though? That's quite cool. And we finished the parametrics, which is good. Right, so I'll stop it there. Well done, everybody.